why do you want this job? Well, uh, I've always been passionate about not starving to death. Hi guys, it's Gloria, and today I would like to share with you some work outfit inspirations. I know it's a really interesting time right now, both economically and socially. Nobody knows what the hell is going on anymore. I don't know what the situation is for you, but I hope these outfit inspirations can be helpful for you either right now or sometime in the future. With that being said, most of the outfits I'm going to show you are suitable for a more conservative office environment. I used to work at a bank, and I remember the most fun part about the job for me was getting dressed for work in the morning. That probably explains why I do what I do right now. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, these are real outfits for the corporate environment, not some bullshit fashion version. A lot of them are my actual work outfits when I was working in a bank. If you work in a more relaxed office environment, feel free to swap in some not so conservative pieces. Now let's get to work! Let me start with the most basic, the most professional outfit. Of course, I'll start with the classic white button-down shirt. My tip is to choose one that isn't overly tight. And then I'll put on a pair of straight leg black suit pants along with a black belt. As for shoes, I'm wearing a pair of classic black pumps. I would say 3.5 inches would be the maximum height. And then I'll add a black suit blazer with a classic cut. I'll also put on a pair of glasses. These are actually blue light glasses, but they make me look a lot smarter, so don't wrap me out. Oh, and lastly, a laptop for presenting the boss my data analysis report that apparently does not exist. On the other hand, I will call this outfit the boss. I mean, it's more appropriate for higher level positions. To start, I'll wear a white button-down shirt, but in silk. And I'll pair this with a pair of black wide leg pants for strutting around the office. I'll accessorize with a black croc leather belt, and then I'll put on a pair of black pumps. Now, I'm going to wear this red blazer that makes quite a statement. Red is a really powerful color, so unless you're the boss, I would advise against wearing it. Did I just put this outfit in here to fulfill my lady boss fantasy? You bet. Your big presentation is coming up and you need to dress the part. An easy solution is to put on a black shift dress. It doesn't require much thinking, which allows you to focus your brain power on the presentation. I'll also put on a pair of black pumps and wear a watch to convey my professionalism. And lastly, a laptop for the presentation that you and I both know I did not prepare for. For this look, I'll wear this champagne silk shirt on its own. The fabric and the color makes it more interesting than just a regular cotton shirt. I'm pairing it with a black pencil skirt. In a professional environment, make sure your skirt is at the knee or below the knee. I'm wearing these classic black pumps again, and I'll complete the look with a random notebook. <clears throat> Agenda for the CEO. If you're looking for a fun twist, tweed can be a great option. To start, I'll put on a classy black and white tweed dress. I'm pairing this with my black pumps. Now, I'll put on this black and white tweed jacket that's obviously from the same set. You can go without a jacket, of course, but a jacket makes you look more professional and saves you from freezing your butt off when the air conditioning is on full blast. I'll complete the look with a black leather bag. And here you go, stylish but still professional. For this one, I'm starting with a white pussy bow silk blouse. It's a romantic touch to a professional look. I'm pairing it with a pair of black white leg pants along with a croc leather belt. And then I'll put on my black pumps and carry my black leather bag. 
Well, this is a true story. I was walking down the street wearing this outfit and someone randomly came up to me and asked me if I was a lawyer. I think that means I look professional, right? Maybe you would want to ask me, can you not wear black for a change? Sure. For this look, I'll start with a pink silk blouse. I know, a very groundbreaking color for me. And then I'll put on a pair of grey suit pants, also pretty rare for me. I'm pairing this with a pair of white slingbacks, and I'll also put on this white suit blazer. Lastly, I'll wear my smarty pants blue light glasses, and carry this notebook again for no reason. If you're bored of your regular workwear, try a blouse with some fun sleeves. Just make sure they don't get in the way of your actual work. I'm pairing this blouse with a simple black pencil skirt to balance out that sleeve situation. And I'll also put on a pair of white sling bags. Lastly, I'll wear a pearl drop necklace because my neck is feeling a tad empty. And here you go, a bit of fun but still keeping it professional. Maybe you would want to ask me, can you not wear a white top with a black bottom all the time? Well, fine. I'll wear a black blouse instead. I'm pairing it with a brown midi skirt since brown is also a very down-to-earth color for the workplace. Now I'll put on my black pumps and finish the look with a pearl drop necklace. And this marks my last day at work because I am changing profession. Want to know what I'll be doing next? Just let me finish turning around. Okay, okay, alright, okay, okay, you're done, honey. Have you heard of the street vendor economy? If you haven't, you're outdated. Well, I'm gonna get a leg up. Of course, I already have my outfit prepared for this new venture. I'll start with a beige tank top because I'll be outdoors all day and it's gonna get hot. I'm pairing this with a pair of comfy palazzo pants for easy squatting. I'll also wear my flat leather sandals because I'm not selling them no matter how bad the economy gets. In addition, I put on a white brim straw hat. This one is very important because you can rotate it depending on where the sun is. Now, let me show you my startup investment, a piece of cloth. That's right, low upfront cost, easy to get off the ground, although it's literally on the ground. Anyhow, now I'll strategically place my objects to sell on this cloth. Hey guys, so uh, I'm selling my bachelor's degree certificate, um, limited edition medallion from a major bank, my beauty pageant tiara, and my Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton bag that I grew an entire month's salary on. And um, I'm also for sale. <laughs>